Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. How are you today? Welcome back in the science class. In the last meeting, you had been reporting your activities about observing living things and non-living things around your house. And today, we are going to learn about local environment. Are you ready? Let's check it out. Okay, before we start the lesson, I will read Quran Surah An-Nur Ayah 45. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wallahu khalaqa kullu dabbatin mimma Fa minuhum may yamashi ala batuni Wa minuhum may yamashi ala rijlaini Wa minuhum may yamashi ala arba' Yakhluk Allahu ma yashya Inna Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir Sadaqallahul Azim Transliteration Allah has created every living creature from water And of them are those that move on their bellies And of them are those that walk on two legs And of them are those that walk on four Allah creates what he wills Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. Okay, now I want to ask you about something. Have you ever seen this animal? That's right, this is penguin. And the second question, where does the penguin live? Yeah, that's right. This is poles. The penguin lives in the poles. I want to explain that our earth has many environments. For example, poles, river, desert, jungle, sea, and the others. Pole is the coolest place in our earth. We can find much snow there. In the poles, we can find some animals. For example, polar bears, snow owl, snow rabbit, and the other animals. Now, let's talk about the second environment in the earth. The second environment is desert. Do you know what is desert? Like this. Desert is very hottest place in the earth. We feel too hot, the day is sunny, and we find much, much sand there. And it's too difficult to find water there. Some living can be found there. For example, cactus, camel, sand viper, ostrich and the other animals now let's talk about the third environment in the earth what is that yeah that is jungle look jungle is the place which many big trees in the jungle we can find many animals for example, monkey, tiger, wild boar, green snake, and the other animals. Okay, now let's talk about the first environment in the earth. It's about river. Have you gone to the river? River is the flow of fresh water from the mountain to the sea. In the river, we can find many animals. For example, crocodile, hippopotamus, turtle, and the other animals. Now, let's talk about the last environment in the earth. It's about 
C. C is the large place with salty water. There we can find many animals. For example, well, tukong, shark, and the other animals. Every animal lives in a certain or specific environment. Why? Because the animals have specific body. For example, polar bears. The polar bear has bushy hair in, in the skin. So, the polar bears only can live in the pole and the polar bears will die if the polar bears live in the desert. Okay, students, that is the topic today. We have talked about five environments in the earth. First, poles, desert, jungle, river, and the last is sea. Actually, the earth has many, many environments. But in this meeting, we only talk about five environments. Okay, it's enough. Thank you for watching. See you next time and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye.